Hi Reception, my name is Mrs Butcher and I'm going to be taking you through today's phase three phonic session. It's really good to see you all back again. So we're going to be looking at the three sounds that we looked at this week. But right before we do, let's revisit all of our phase three sounds using our flashcards. So back to tall reception. If you see a single grapheme, I would like you to say the name as well as the sound that you see. For all of the others, the digraphs and the trigraphs, I would like you to just say the sound. Let's go. V, Z, Z, or R, ear. A, Z, R, R, Qu, Ch. Now this one has two sounds. We have the hard TH sound in words such as the, or that, or there. And then the soft TH sound as in thumb. X, X, Y, Y, J, J, R, W, R, R, E. This one also has two sounds. Oo, as in moon and uh, as in book. Ow. I. Oi. Ng. O. Great job, everybody. Do you remember the three sounds that we looked at this week? Pause the video and tell your adult. So the sounds we looked at were j, v, and u. J, v, and u. I wonder if you can spot them on our sound mat. Can you see them? J. V, and W, well done. So I've put our phase three sounds on the board here. I would like you to think back to our letter families. So the way that we form our letters. One of these is the odd one out. So two of them belong to the same letter family and one of them doesn't. Pause the video and tell your adult which of these, J, V or W, is the odd one out. If you said the letter J, J, you were right. J belongs to the long ladder family. If you look, we start at the top here and we go down and give it a tail. V and W belong to the zig zag monsters. So we're going to play a game now focusing on our three sounds of the week. I would like you to look closely at all of the objects I'm going to put on the table. Each of those objects starts that initial letter with either a J, a V or a W. I would like you to work it out which of those letters the item belongs to. Pause the video and tell your adult. For the letter J, two items, a jumper and some jam. 
for the letter V, we have some vinegar and a vase. For our letter W, we had four items, wig, water, watch and wing. From the items we've sorted on the table, I would like you to pick two or three of these and I would like you to write the words in your books. Think carefully about your letter formation, which letters sit neatly on the line and which letters are ascenders or descenders. Pause the video whilst you do this. Let's do one together. Now I've chosen wing. So let's say the word again. Wing. Wing. I know it starts with the letter W. I'm going to start on the blue line. The W is neither an ascender or a descender. So starting at the blue line and we say zig, zag, zig, zag. There is our W. Let's stretch the word out. Wing. Wing. I can hear the letter I. I, I. Now, it's not a phase three sound. I'm going to turn my mat over and I can see the letter I. So we start at the top of the blue line here. We go straight down to the line, then take your pencil off and fly it up to the top to make our dot. So there's the letter I. Let's keep going. Ooh, e, ng, wing. Now that last sound, it's a phase three sound. Let's have a look. I can see it down here. Ng, wing. Right, so the letters N and G. Starting at the top, we go straight down, bounce back up and over and down. Give it a tail. And our G. So, curly caterpillar and up and down and give it a tail. Ooh, eh, mm. There's our digraph at the end. And there is the word wing. And so for your final two chili challenge, I would like you to think back to the items that we had on the table. Or if you have anything else in mind that starts with any of these graphemes, you can use that. And I would like you to write a sentence using that word. Now I've chosen the letter J and I've picked something a bit different to what I had on the table. I've got a jug. My sentence that I will model to you is the jug is full. Don't forget, a good sentence must include a clappity cackle at the beginning, finger spaces between the words, letters on the line, and a full stop to finish. I've just drawn these at the top to remind me to check my sentence at the end. Clappity capitals, finger spaces, letters on the line, and a full stop. You might like to do the same. Think it, say it, write it. The jug is full. Four words in my sentence. The jug is full. The first word is our tricky word, the. It's a capital letter, I can see here. We're going straight across the top and we drop down straight to the line. There's my capital T sat on the line. My next letter is the letter H. It's a lowercase h, we start at the top and we go straight down, bounce back up and over and just give it a tail there. Next is a, is a lowercase e. We start in the middle, 
and go across carefully, then curl around like a snail. There is my tricky word, the. Now I need a finger space, so finger space, jug, j, a, g, jug. I'm going to look on my sound mat. I can see it's one of our letters. J, j, it's a descender. Start at the top here. We're going straight down under the line and then we fly back up to the top to give it a dot. J, a. Uh. I remember that's a phase two sound. There is a letter U, a. Uh. So, start at the top. We're going to go down, bend to the right and up and drop back down and give it a tail, j, a, uh, g, jug, g. I can see g in our phase two sound, so up to the line, we go around and up and down and give it a tail, the, jug. There's our second word, we want a finger space, and our next word is the word is, I to write that here for you to see. The jug is full. We've got three words here, we need one more. Full, let's stretch the word out. Full, full. I can hear the f sound. Let's have a look at our sound mat. It's a phase two sound. The F starts just above the blue area. We go around, we drop it down. Make a tail and cross. Oh, uh. hmm. sound. Uh. Let's have a look again. I can see it here again. It's our phase two sound. Uh. So, blue line, we go down and under, up, drop it down and give it a tail. Let's stretch the word out one more time. Uh. Ooh. I can hear the oh sound. Now I know it's a digraph, it's a phase two digraph, the oh. It's an ascender, two L's, both ascenders start at the top here. And we drop down and give it a tail. One more, making sure they look the same. We drop down and give it a tail. Let's check our sentence. The jug is full. To finish our sentence, we need a full stop. Clappity capitals, let's check. Clappity capitals, there's our T. Finger spaces. Yeah, we have those. Let's put a tick for both of those. Letters sat on the line. And our full stop to finish the sentence. The jug is full. Now that I've written my sentence, it's over to you. We love seeing all of the work that you're doing. So don't forget you can email us at the reception email. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye for now.